If this is the first time you're listening to the Wealthy Wednesday Show, please remember to subscribe and click on the like button. Are you ready to change your money flow? Would you like to get beyond the six figures that you keep bumping up against? Well, let me tell you, my book, Magical Money Manifestations, is going to help you create money manifestations on autopilot so that you will have more money, more freedom, and more joy in your life. Go to MagicalMoneyManifestations.com to find out more information. Welcome to the Wealthy Wednesday Show. I am your host, Lucy McMonagle. Women are recreating the rules for business, leadership, money, and they are changing the world in the process. Each week, join me for empowering messages and interviews that will inspire, motivate, and transform you. Giving a special shout out to Gordon Weary for creating the custom music that you are listening to now. Now, let's get started. Hey, 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 welcome to another edition of the Wealthy Wednesday Show. This is your host, Lucy McMonagle, and I am so honored and so pleased we have an incredible lady who is Judy Hoberman, and she is the president of Selling in a Skirt and has created a suite of workshops, seminars, and coaching programs that take the negativity out of selling. So if you have had some negative issues thinking that selling is not good, this is definitely the show you want to listen to. And it's also the show that you want to share with your friends and your families, especially those who are entrepreneurs. But Judy also brings to the table so much more aside from that. And I'm going to let her talk a little bit about how she got there and how she is bringing an impact into the world. Judy, welcome to the Wealthy Wednesday Show. Thank you so much. I am super excited to be here. So thank you for having me. Absolutely. Judy, you have been awarded the Character Integrity Award in the field of your distinct and signature contributions to the fields for success, for helping entrepreneurs. You're famous for (laughs) many of the books that you've written, and plus you are a powerhouse. Can you tell us a little bit about what is your passion on bringing this incredible knowledge into the world? Well, thank you for saying that. Um, I truly believe that my passion is what I live. My passion are women. I come from a world of all men. I've always been the only female. And when I started my company, I decided that if I was starting all over, what would I want? I would have wanted a female mentor that could have not done the work for me, but at least shown me the journey and say, you know, this is what you have to do in order to be successful. I didn't have that. I had very successful men, which were wonderful, but I'm not a man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when they say to me, oh, you're such a girl, or you take too long, or you ask too many questions, that's because we build relationships. And so I was always fighting that uphill battle. So my passion has always been and will continue to be making sure that women have the tools that they need to be successful. Wow. And and, and you, you really touched upon such critical points is, is women build relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we ask a lot of questions because we want to get to know you sincerely, not just superficially. Can you explain a little bit more on how you've been able to navigate from the men's training, the men's world into the women's training so that you empower powerhouses like yourself and other people? Well, I think the truly important part is what you just said about, you know, being interested. I tell people you want to be interested, not interesting. And there's Mm -hmm. a big difference between that. When I ask questions, and I have been dubbed the question queen, you can ask my husband if you really want to know. But you know, I want to get to the why. When I ask you a question, I won't say, do you like this? Do you want this? When do you want it? I'm going to ask you why it's important for you to have it. It's a different question because it's open-ended. You get to speak. And when you get to speak, I hear your why in your words. There's nothing more powerful than that. 
you know, when, when I sold insurance for decades, I would never say to someone, how much do you want to spend and what's the face value? It didn't matter. I said, why is it important for you to have that policy in place? I got what they wanted to spend. I got the face value they wanted, but I understood now why it was so important. So for me, if you're going to build a relationship, you need to know a lot about the person that you're with. And, mm -hmm. and that's how you do it. It's all about questions. And of course, you have to listen, but, but it's all about the questions. Wow. And as women entrepreneurs who are creating an impact on the world, who's creating a legacy, the audience that's listening to this, are there certain questions that they should be asking themselves so that they can bring more of them their true authenticity into the world? You know, that's a good question because I, I do believe that we need to know our own why as well. Like, why do you do what you do? And, and when you figure that part out, those are the questions that you want to ask yourself. Why am I doing this? What do I hope to gain from this? What's the outcome? So I can go back again. You know, when I started out in insurance, I was a single mom. My one and only job was to protect my children. That was my job. So when I was in insurance, I thought, okay, so if I could protect my children and my family, why can't I protect yours? And that's mm -hmm. what kept me going all the time. When I wanted to quit and everybody wants to quit and I probably wanted to quit a hundred times a day, I would go back and say, okay, but if I don't help this family and if I don't protect them, who's going to do it? How would that, how would someone else find them? And so I always had my why in my head. And I always knew this was my why while I was doing insurance. And that's what it is. Now, being in this, in my own company, my why is to make sure that women have tools to make themselves successful. So what does that look like? Well, I need to ask you what's important to you. And, and it's the same thing. I get your why. That yes. makes sense? Oh, that makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So what's important to you? is yeah. something to ask not only yourself but to ask whom you're working with whom your clients are so that you can understand why mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then from the why where do you lead from there what do you what's the next step again it depends on what you're doing but i i believe mm -hmm. that when you ask the why and you get it whatever it is that you're offering them they're answering the questions that you need to know. So I have talked myself out of many sales because the person I spoke to really wasn't going to be any better off by buying things from me. They weren't. And so in, in that case, I would not proceed with closing a deal with them. I would say, you know what, you're better off where you are. So let me make sure that everything's in place for you and so on and so forth. And people would say, did you just talk yourself out of commission? And I would say, yeah, I did, because you don't need this. And they were more surprised that I didn't just automatically go in for the clothes, because you don't need to do that. I got more referrals from people that I didn't sell to because they knew that I was honest and authentic and, and high, high integrity. I'm not going to sell something just because I need the money. That, that doesn't work. So when you ask the questions, again, you're being interested not interesting, and you're also listening to them. The spotlight goes off you. The spotlight has to go on to your clients because they're the person. Who do you, what do you think their most important, the most popular topic they have? Themselves. Yes. Exactly. You know, we all want to talk about ourselves, right? So mm -hmm. if you let them talk, they're going to start listening to what you're saying, and they're going to, they're going to want to know more about what you have to offer them. So it, it really is, it's, it's almost like it's, it's just a conversation. There's nothing more than that in sales. People go, oh, I don't like sales. I feel so icky. And wh why? Because really all you're doing is having a conversation. That's all it is. When people say to me, what's the secret of sales? I go, stop selling. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what yes. it is. That is true. And, and I've had the most conversions of the most people come to me when I wasn't even aware that they might have been interested. I was just talking to them and asking them about them. And then they'd ask me about me. And I would say, oh, this is what I do. And they're, oh. So it's right? true. If you're not trying to sell, you usually get more sales. It's not that you don't have sales calls. It's not that you don't have conversations with people. But there's a difference between being authentic and asking questions, asking why this is important to them, and then determining if your 
product, your service, or whatever it is that you have is not going to help the other individual. It's not going to benefit them. And then you, you, like you did before in your insurance business, you would refer them or you would just basically tell them that this is, this is where you should be. This is good. You're good. Absolutely. One of the other things you always do is you have resources that are available. I became yes. like the one-stop shop. If I didn't have what they needed, I knew someone that did. And people would call mm -hmm. me for the strangest things. Like they would say, do you know anybody that paves a driveway? I was selling insurance. <laughs> but yet I did. And I would say, you know what, mm -hmm. let me, here's this person. So people would call me for all different things because mm -hmm. I listened and because I had their best interest. So, you know, it's, it's very, it's an interesting process. For me, it's almost like a dance. You know, you have mm -hmm. to get into the right rhythm and not everybody's going to listen and not everybody's going to want to do business with you. And that's okay. There's more that's people true. out there. Absolutely. There's lots of people out there. And, and even if it's not the right fit for, for you and them at this time, there's always the possibility that in the future they might bump into somebody and they'll think of you because Absolutely. you weren't being salesy. You weren't being desperate for, for getting their money. And you basically said, Hey, this isn't a fit or, you know, if there's anything else I can help you with, um, I'd be glad right. to. And if not, thank you very kindly for the conversation. It was fabulous. Right. And then the best thing you could do is you send a thank you note to the people, not only that you bought, that bought from you, the ones that didn't, because yes. you took the time. And I got more thank yous for my thank you note from people that I didn't sell to because they thought, wow, she took the time to be here. She took the time to thank us. You know, we're going to, we want to be part of her circle. We may not need what she has, but. My brother does, my sister does, my cousin does. So yeah, it's a it's it's amazing how it works. Wow, that's fabulous. And now just so our audience is not confused, it in your former business you were insurance. And yes. can you tell us a little bit about what you do now. Sure. I do sales training because that's something that people are, you know, leery about. They think it's like this slam bam, thank you, ma'am stuff. It's not. <laughs> I do uh, executive coaching. I do uh, keynote speaking. I have a radio show and I'm an author. So I do all of that. Yeah. Fabulous. And, and speaking of being an author, you actually have a new book coming out. I do. I do. I do. You want to see it? Yes, I do. Please. <laughs> so this wow. is it. Isn't it beautiful? I can't wait. That so We're, we're in the final throws of this. Beautiful. Yes. That's beautiful. And can you tell us a little bit about your new book? And, yes. And you're in the throes of it. So when is it coming out? Well, we're, the designer is doing the final layout right now. It's called Walking on the Glass Floor. So it's about getting women to that next level, whatever that level is. You know, we talk about crashing through the ceiling. This is not the ceiling. This is the glass floor. You have made it here. We want to keep you here. We want to bring more women here. We want to bring emerging leaders here. And so it's all about the, um, the soft skills of leadership. Because we talk about, um, you know, you always hear negotiate and find your seat at the table and find your voice. Very important. Mm -hmm. But there's other qualities that we have that are inherent to us that we don't even know are really leadership qualities like generosity or confidence. Mm -hmm. So all of that's in the book. And it's, I mean, it, it's really a great book. I mean, seriously, it's a really good book. And the other part of it is that we're going to be giving back a good portion of the proceeds to charities and to associations and to social causes, because we want to be able to have women that may not be able to afford a coach or a program. And so companies are going to buy the books and give them to women that should have the book. And then we're going to donate a portion of that back to other charities. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. That is so powerful. And will this be book, will this book be available on Amazon or can they go to a bookstore? Where, where can people get this book when it comes out? Well, definitely be on Amazon. It'll be on our website. Um, I'm sure it's going to be on all the major distribution channels. We just have to get it there first. So I'm going to say in the next few weeks, we'll be able to start pre-selling it. Oh, so, fabulous. Yes. So excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is. I, and I'm so excited, too, because there, you have touched upon the most critical thing that most individuals miss is, is we have so many individuals that will take you to that six figures and you're taking them on how to stay there and go beyond. 
Yep. Now, that is so unique and, and so much needed in this time, especially for women entrepreneurs. And we have more women that are entering the entrepreneurship field than we've ever had in history. Absolutely. And then you also have all the emerging leaders, the young women yes. that are coming through the ranks that think about what I said, I never had somebody, a female to help me. And so mm -hmm. we have a lot of the um, students that are graduate students from different universities that are going to start, you know, being part of walking on the glass floor. So we're very excited about that as well. Oh, that's fantastic. And Judy, can you tell us a little bit about your website and how can people get a hold of you? Because you mentioned your book will be announced on the website when it's out and available. Yeah, so you go to sellinginaskirt.com. And on my website, there's videos and audios and reports and all this stuff that you can just pull down, you know, as, as gifts to you. It's not that you're buying anything. You can buy the books that I have, you know, different books on my website. Um, there's also, mm, I'm going to, there's some special reports that you can get for free. They're like white papers that talk about women in sales that talk about different parts of women in business. So there's all bunch of, a whole bunch of different pieces in, on my website. And it's also fun. I mean, you can stay connected. There's a blog on there. Um, and then all over social media, it's either going to be Judy Hoberman or selling in a skirt. That's what it is. I try to make it easy all the way around. That is really, really easy. And and you are so incredible, Judy. I oh, am thank you. so honored because you have been able to really help women become the leaders that they've been meaning to become. And as the emerging leaders, as the new ones that are coming into the entrepreneurship field or coming into the six-figure field, is there any tips or strategies that you wish you would have had when you were being taught by the men instead of by women? Where should I start? Um, <laughs> okay, one of the things you have to do is you have to be focused. You have to stay focused because what happens, especially as entrepreneurs, we're shiny object people. This looks good, that looks good, this looks good. You have to be focused. You have to remember your why and you have to stay focused. The other thing is don't be afraid to invest in yourself. You know, I, when I first started my company, I, okay, first of all, when I left where I was, I resigned. When you resign, you don't take anything with you, like severance or anything, you get zero. And so I didn't have, you know, this nest egg to, to do things with, but I knew I needed a business coach. And so I found the money to, for a business coach. So you have to invest in yourself. You can't do this alone. You can't. And everybody that thinks they can, you know, or they're an overnight success, that's not true. You need someone else to stand by you and help you. But the other thing is, don't be afraid to say no. No is a complete sentence. Yes. So if somebody says something to you that just doesn't feel like it's in your, you know, sight vision and it shouldn't be, just say no thank you. Because that's the truth. You you're going to say yes to everything and you're going to be very unfocused. Been there, done that and bought the t-shirt many times. Yes. So I I right? Yes. So I know for a fact it's not happening again, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and and have somebody who's going to hold you accountable. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So, that's what I would say. Oh, that is so powerful. And for the coaches, how would, how would somebody, you said you hired a business coach and that was one of the first steps because you knew you needed somebody to take your hand. How does one even figure out the maze of all of the different coaches out there? Um, and like you, I've seen the shiny object and one coach would say, oh, no, you need to do this. And the other coach would tell me, oh, you need to do that. And, and they were contrary. So yeah. how do you find that one coach that's going to hold you accountable, but also really help you move forward in your business? Is there a well, trick to that? It, I don't think there's a trick, but I would say that the first thing is a coach should offer a complimentary session, whether it's 15 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. You have got to meet someone. You've got to get to know them. You have to be able to be in a relationship because a business coach is a very intimate relationship. So whether it's on Zoom or whether it's on Skype or whether it's over the phone or in person, you need to interview them just like they're interviewing you. You know who's your person and you're going to, you know, you'll say no to somebody that doesn't fit. Why shouldn't they say no to you as well? So I always say, you know, let's chat. If we're right for each other, you'll know it. And you do know it. You, have you ever met somebody and you take a step backwards because you didn't like the energy? 
Well, that's yes. not a good, that's not good for a coach. That's not no. somebody you should hire, right? So I always say, you know, meet someone, have a conversation, ask a lot of questions. And, and that's how you determine. There's a lot of coaches out there that, you know, they're in it for the dollars. Mm -hmm. And I'm true. not saying that you shouldn't make money as a coach because you should. But what I'm saying is interview someone and find out if this is your person. Fabulous. And you mentioned you also do coaching. I, do you still currently do coaching? Oh, and, yeah. yeah. And how, how would people, if somebody's listening to this and they're like, oh, oh, I really like I want Judy. her. <laughs> I want her. How so, do they get a hold of you? <laughs> okay, so you can email me at judy at sellinginaskirt.com. You can call me. Um, I'll give you my cell if that's okay. Do you want me to do that? Okay, yes, so it's, yes, it's 203-605-3635. I answer my own phone. I answer my own emails. I, I do all of that. I do not believe in having somebody else be part of that. So I do all of that myself. Also, you can connect with me on any social media platform, and that's another way to, to get in touch with me. Wow. Judy, this has been phenomenal. Thank and you. Before we wrap up, because we just have a few more minutes left before we're, we're wrapping up, is there anything else that you would like to say to the audience before we say our farewells? I just say, you know, don't quit. Just don't quit. Keep going because there's something in front of you that when you stop, you're going to miss it. So just, just keep going. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help. It is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of strength. Wow. That is so crucial. Mm. So, Judy, I want to thank you for being a phenomenal guest on the Wealthy Wednesday show. We've talked about your upcoming book. We've talked about your website, which is sellinginaskirt.com. People can contact you. Um, you've, your, your phone number is in the USA, so individuals who are calling you, please make sure you check your, your carrier to see if mm -hmm. there's long-distance charges or anything. And I am so excited to get my hands on your new book. You and me both, Lucy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so kindly. And I want to thank my audience. You are the reason why I put together these phenomenal guests from around the world. And we give you tips, we give you strategies, and we give you means so that you can grow your business, so that you can create a legacy, and so that you will get the help if you need the help. And I am so grateful for you. If you'd like to contact me, my website is lucymcmonicle.com. You can email me. I do personally answer my emails too. And it's at lucy at lucymcmonicle.com. And you can find me on social media. So please, if you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you like and share this. And if you're listening to this on one of the app, apps, on iTunes, iHeart, or anything else, share it with your friends, share it with your families. So until next time, abundant blessings. Are you ready to change your money flow? Would you like to get beyond the six figures that you keep bumping up against? Well, let me tell you, my book, Magical Money Manifestations, is going to help you create money manifestations on autopilot so that you will have more money, more freedom, and more joy in your life. Go to MagicalMoneyManifestations.com to find out more information. Thank you for listening to the Wealthy Wednesday Show. This is your host, Lucy McMonagle. I am the mystic wealth creator, a mentor for conscious women entrepreneurs, helping them create more freedom in their business through conscious wealth creation. I would love to extend to you a free gift. And all you need to do is go to my website at lucymcmonagle.com. That's L-U-C-I-M-C-M-O-N. A G L E dot com to get your free gift. So until next time, abundant blessings.